Hey guys, hello, 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 hello. Uh, let me put this and then pin it. No, put this and pin it. Pin comments. Alrighty. I'm starting today early on Instagram compared to uh, Clubhouse. Hello, Amat. How are you doing? I'm actually starting today earlier on, on Instagram, uh, later than Clubhouse. So, um... If you're just joining in, welcome. Oh, hey, Chris. Hey, Christine. Long time no see. How are you, man? It's been what? It's been almost, what, three, four years? How are you? Are you in Namibia? How are you doing? Hey, Ahmad. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. How are y'all doing? I'm going to start in a bit. I'm actually just going to hop now to Clubhouse and begin. Normally, I always start on Clubhouse before I come to Instagram. But today, I started on on Instagram before going to Clubhouse because, oh man, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. I, I was checking through and I was like, I know Christine, but because I was following you on Instagram with my other page. And then when I changed to this page, I was like, yes, I think I know, Christine. I should follow you. What's up, girl? It's been forever. I hope you've been well. I hope you've been well. Take care. So normally, I always start like on, on uh, Clubhouse first before I come to Instagram. But today, I'm starting on Instagram first before going to Clubhouse because uh, apparently, club, uh, Instagram informs people like this person is live. This person is live. So it informs people before. But each time I start on Clubhouse and then I come to Instagram, I have to go straight. Love you too, girl. Love you. Take care. Take care of yourself and those babies. I'm sure you're killing it. So I'm going to start today first on, on, uh, on Instagram. And then I'm going to now go and start the room on Clubhouse. I'm going to start the room now on Clubhouse. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hello, Wayna. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome everybody to One Scholarship a Day. Y'all know I like to keep One Scholarship a Day short and sweet. We are just going to talk about our scholarship for today. And we are going to keep it pushing. So if you all are thinking about applying for scholarships, you're thinking about what scholarships to apply for, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We are going to get our scholarship. I'm going to put the link on Instagram, on Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, go follow me on Twitter because that's where you'll find the link to the scholarship. I'm going to take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship. I'll put it in my Instagram stories. So I hope you all also follow me on Instagram so that you can get both the link and the picture to the official website so you can compare to be sure that you are on the right website. I'm excited about our scholarship for today because this is a scholarship to the UK. This is a scholarship to the UK. And I know that there are so many of you who are thinking about the UK as a study destination. If you're thinking about the UK as a study destination, you're looking for funding, how to sponsor your study to the UK, definitely, definitely, uh, Check out this particular uh, scholarship that I'm going to talk about today. Ahmad says, put the link on your bio on Instagram. Wow, that is instructions. Those are very strong instructions, Ahmad. Well, on my, on my Instagram bio, you are going to find my link tree, which gives you links to several things, to my classes, to my website, to the YouTube channel, to the latest video. There is so many things that I have to put there on the instagram on the on the link tree link so i put the links to the scholarship scholarships on twitter so i hope you can go to twitter and get the link there Alrighty, uh hello uh mr mr don hello emos hello michael thank you guys so much for joining me and for those on instagram thank you guys so much for joining me on one scholarship a day my name is sylvie and I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships. We do that through group classes, through one-on-one -on -one classes, and through standalone services. So if you're thinking about applying for scholarships, you do not know how to go about the process, go to the website, LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com, and you can book to join a class. Also, I have a YouTube channel, you guys, and that is where our title for today, 
top two fully funded scholarships to the US is from because over the weekend I did a video on top two fully funded scholarships to the US. I'm going to chit chat a bit. About, I'm going to chit chat about it like a bit. But of course, you all definitely go to the YouTube channel. If you tap my link, uh, the link on the link tree link on uh instagram it's like watch my latest video you can just see it there go watch it are you thinking about the us as a study destination if you are go check out these scholarships one is for professional so if you're a working if you're a worker and you want to go do some studies to like for professional development check out that scholarship uh to the us or if you are a phd student thinking about a postgraduate program definitely check it out so those are the scholarships uh, to the U.S. One is actually the Harvard. One is at Harvard, actually. It's the Harvard Academy Scholars Program. And then the other one is the uh, Knight Hennessy. Am I saying that correctly? Is it the Knight Hennessy Program? I don't think it's the Knight Hennessy uh, Program. I need to check. Oh, my goodness. I talk about scholarships back to back. Is the, the One is the Harvard University Academy Scholars Program. And then the other one is the Hubert Humphrey Fellowships, you guys. But remember, the Knight Hennessy Scholars is accepting applicants right now, you guys. If you're thinking about Stanford University, definitely go check out that particular scholarship. Of course, YouTube has the videos. So if you're thinking about uh, Stanford, the U.S., that's another scholarship to the U.S. that you should check out. Anywho, let's get to our scholarship for the day. Our scholarship for today, uh, April. Uh, what April? Oh, my goodness. I need to sleep. <laughs> our scholarship for August 3rd. Our scholarship for August 3rd is the Swansea University Hillary, Rod Hillary Rodham Clinton Scholarships Program. For international students at the master's level it's called the hillary rodham clinton scholarship program for, for international students at swansea university so this is actually a scholarship uh built in uh hillary clinton i don't know if she's like involved in the program in one way or the other i'm not too sure but it's a um hillary rodham clinton scholarship for international students who want to go study at Swansea University. So, of course, we know Swansea University is a university in the UK. And uh, if you're a master's student, you're thinking about going to study there, check out this particular scholarship. Check out, I'm going to read out the eligibility so you can see if it's a scholarship that you're going to be applying for. The application deadline is September 3rd, September 3rd, September 3rd, 2021. That is the deadline. So, we are in August from, this is what, this is August 3rd. Oh, wow. Today is August 3rd. And the deadline for this scholarship is September 3rd. So you do not have a lot of time. That's just one month out to get you ready to apply for the scholarship. So if you are going to be applying for it, definitely rush through, rush through, rush through. So just uh, because I was reading about the scholarship before I came on here, the main thing that you need to pay attention to is the fact that they are looking for five scholars. So it's actually five slots that are available for the scholarship. And the majors that they are looking for is digital inclusion. So you need to be studying something related to digital inclusion, racial injustice, children's rights, environment and climate change, human rights, right? So those are the five things that they are focused on. Digital inclusion, racial injustice, children's rights, environment and climate change, and human rights. So if you're a master's student or like you finished your bachelor's, you're thinking about going to do your master's and you offer anything if you study anything if you're interested in anything that has to do with any of these fields definitely go ahead and check out this particular scholarship so let us read a bit more about it let's let's do a, 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 deep, a deep dive let's see like let's look at the, the the requirements like the eligibility on on uh how to on those that they are going to be accepting for this particular scholarship so it says candidates will hold a first class degree <laughs> you guys Y'all know how I always tell you about the importance of getting good grades in school. And if you're still in school, please do want to get your grades up. Candidates will hold a first class degree. This is what, if you are, if you are working on a scale of four, this is you being what, 3.7 and above, right? This is like 3.7 and above. This is what we are talking about here. Either in law or in a, rele in an, or in a relevant discipline with strong overall and individual module performance. Exceptional candidates with good upper second class degree who demonstrate relevant experience may also be considered oh okay that's fun that's fun that's good so now they've dropped it down to second class upper so this is people who are who have from um, three point 
what is it 3.1 i think this is like from 3.1 and above so if you have from 3.1 and above this is uh definitely uh they, they will be considering you on a scale of four so second class upper so this is a scholarship for second class upper and first class students second class upper and first class students this is why good grades matter you guys so it says that in support of the application candidates are also asked to provide a two-page cv and a cover letter setting out what they hope to gain from the program and how they will contribute to it applicants should also identify and justify the global challenge area they would like to work on you guys we've spoken about this before i'm not going to go back and forth about the importance of making sure that you tie in your scholarship goals with that of the scholarship provider to make sure that as you achieve your goals the scholarship provider also achieves their own goals i've spoken about this several times if you haven't go and watch my previous videos because i break it down what you should look for when you write your personal statement when you write your personal statement these buzzwords you all hear the buzzwords they are talking about applicants should identify and justify a global challenge area they would like to work on those are the buzzwords that you have to include in this personal statement that they are talking about remember we have uh, our resident sp uh, personal statement specialist her name is duta wambura and she is the country representative for the erasmus mundus scholarship but of course she works on our team on a personal capacity she's not working there as an erasmus mundus fellow but she works on our team as a, as an expert on personal statements so if you need help if you're going to be applying for this scholarship you need help with your with your personal statement definitely go to the website and book so you can work with her to get your personal statement ready to apply for this particular scholarship all righty then it says that if neither english nor welsh is your first language you will need to have an acceptable pass in an approved english language qualification such as the ielts test so if you pass the ielts test that means that it's, you're good to go and uh it says please provide a two-page cv how to apply please provide a two-page cv a cover letter setting out what you hope to gain from the program how you will contribute to it along with two references you guys we've spoken about recommendation letters and why it's always important this is this scholarship is one month the deadline is september 3rd which means that if you have to if you will be applying for this scholarship you may start asking your professors for recommendation letters right now that is sometimes you may have some cool professors who will be like okay cool 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 but i always tell you that it's always important to ask your professors way ahead of time because they have their schedule they have things that they are doing there are so many students that they are working with so sometimes it can be hard for a, for a professor to work with like individual like issue our recommendation letters if you don't book prior like ahead of time so you need uh two references that is what they say and your cover letter must clearly uh, identify and justify the global challenge area you would like to work on of course from the list digital inclusion racial injustice children's rights environment and climate change and human rights so those are the, the areas that they are interested in right so make sure that you state something related to that all righty so that was our scholarship for today that was our scholarship for today um someone for those that are on clubhouse if you have a question if there is something that you do not understand please feel free to raise your hand come up on stage i'm actually going to tweet out the link to the scholarship right now i'm going to tweet it out tweet it out tweet it out so if you do not follow me on twitter make sure you go follow me on twitter because that is where you're going to find the link to the scholarship i'm going to take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and i'll put it in my instagram stories so make sure you follow me on instagram and compare the link that when you tap the link that page where you'll be at with what you are going to find in my instagram stories to be sure that you are on the right page for the scholarship okay make sure you are on the right page so for those on clubhouse if you have a question raise your hand while i tweet out this link to the scholarship and <laughs> thank you so much oh i definitely appreciate that someone is giving me compliments best lives on ig thank you so much i definitely definitely appreciate that Stavo. thank you so much i appreciate that Alrighty, so i'm going to tweet out the link to the scholarship i'm going to tweet it out tweet it out tweet it out so if you do not follow me on instagram on twitter definitely go follow me so that you can see the link to the scholarship and if you have a question does anyone clubhouse amos uh mr down uh Kweku, amal do you all have a question feel free to raise your hand and then i'm going to be reading questions from those on on uh instagram because i see some questions in the comments section 
Uh, Vera says, may you please spell or type the name of the scholarship, please? Vera, you really do not have to bother. Normally, I always say that... Um, you take get a pen and a paper and take notes but i'm tweeting out the link to the scholarship on twitter right now i'm tweeting it out please just go follow me on twitter vera please. my name on on club on on instagram is the same as it is on twitter please just go follow me on twitter and you're going to find the link to the scholarship okay yes 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 you're going to find the link to the scholarship so don't bother about the spelling it's okay but of course it's uh hillary clinton's name hillary rodham clinton so that is the person providing the scholarship. Alrighty, someone on Clubhouse raised their hand, came up on stage. Hello, Amos. Welcome. Thank you for joining me on stage. Do you have a question or you have a resource to share with us? Yeah, I was just concerned about, uh, um, I think you mentioned something like grading and uh, the first uh, the first one was 3.7. Um, and the second was 3.7 uh, and above. And the second one was... 3.1 and above so i just want to be sure if what um you meant is what i understood uh, that it has got two distinct category of qualification in terms of grading the one for rodan clinton all right so the the, the 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 scholarship is structured they say that they are looking for those that have first class degree and those that have second class upper right and second class upper is from those who have a GPA of three point, I think either three point zero or three point. I think maybe three point one and above, right up till like three point five. Those are people who are classified uh second class upper, and then those that have from three point six and above, right up till three point nine on four. Those are classified um first class. So this is on a scale of four. So if that is what you're asking, yes, that is what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Are you going to be applying for the scholarship, Amos? Yeah, I was concerned. Uh, of course, I'm only interested with, uh, with Welsh uh, background, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to receiving that link you say that you tweet on the Twitter and uh, I'll make uh, consideration on, on, on that. Alrighty. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. The link is going to be on Twitter in the next one minute. <laughs> one minute. Just give me a moment, you guys. Man, my laptop, my laptop has been stressing me out. I had to take my laptop to Apple today to, to so, so that they could check what was going on with it. And they told me that it was going to cost me an arm and a leg in order to fix my laptop. And I was like, this is crazy. So I, I didn't fix my laptop. So I'm working like on double screens because my laptop is not working well. So please, you guys be patient with me. Someday I'm going to have, I'm going to be able to get uh, like a new laptop. But I've tweeted it out, you guys. I have tweeted it out. The link is live on Twitter. The Hillary Rodham Clinton Global Challenges Program at Swansea University. I've tweeted it out, tweeted it out. Definitely go check it out. What I wanted to check for was like, how much are we talking about? You all know I always like to get to where the money resides and see how much we are talking about. But for some weird reason, I can't see how much this particular scholarship is given. So when y'all go, please check how much we are talking about, okay? If y'all are able to figure out how much it is, let me know. <coughs> Uh, tweet me, tweet me and tell me, or you can DM, DM me on Instagram and tell me how much is this scholarship. Oh yeah, I found it. <coughs> I found it. It says if you're accepted into this master's program, you will receive a scholarship which covers the full tuition fee as well as a stipend of fifteen thousand pounds. Whoa, to contribute towards your living cost. Oh wow! Oh wow! If you're accepted onto this master's program, you will receive a scholarship which covers your full tuition fee as well as a stipend of £15,000 to contribute towards your living costs. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I hope you all are checking out this scholarship. If you're thinking about the UK, I hope you're considering it. I don't know about your financial situations, but if you all are like me who has a financial need, I hope you all are going to be applying for this scholarship. Go ahead and apply for it, you guys. Check it out, check it out, check it out. You do not have a lot of time. So please, please, please go apply for it, okay? Go apply for it. This is an amazing scholarship. This is definitely an amazing scholarship. When we look at the funding of it, it's an amazing opportunity. So y'all go check it out. Anywho, I'm going to close it out because I know that there are so many rooms here on Clubhouse that are way more interesting than a room about scholarships. So I'm going to close it out. Thank you guys so much for joining me. 
me my name is sylvie and i am the founder of learn how to get a scholarship.com it is a website where we curate scholarships for international students and we prepare students to apply for scholarships in different parts of the world we do that through group classes through one-on-one -on -one classes and through standalone services if you need any of those go to the website and choose join a class you can join a class and we are going to work with you i also have a youtube channel and that is where this our top two fully funded scholarships to the u.s that is in our title is about one is a phd scholarship it's a postdoc scholarship and the other is a scholarship for professionals if you're thinking about the u.s as a study destination definitely go ahead and check it out definitely check it out and also you guys on clubhouse this conversation is brought to you by the study abroad club so click that tiny house above my head go and follow the club and i'm going to invite you all to be members remember our scholarship for today august 3rd was there let me remember the name the hillary rodham clinton challenges program at swansea university how much are they giving they are paying all your tuition fee and giving you fifteen thousand pounds to contribute towards your living cost this is an amazing scholarship definitely go ahead and check it out i'm going to see you all tomorrow on one scholarship a day oh abel has a question all right someone on clubhouse raised their hand so of course those on instagram if you have a question put it in the comment section and i'm going to answer abel you raised your hand please can you tell us do you have a question or you have a resource to share with us abel if you, abel if you're speaking you're muted oh all right he went back to the all righty okay probably that was a mistake all righty anywho that was our scholarship for today that was our scholarship for today it's an amazing scholarship in my opinion i hope you all go check it out go check it out go check it out the link is on twitter you guys i'm going to put i'm going to take a screenshot of the official page of the scholarship and i'm going to put it in my instagram story so i hope you all follow me on twitter for the link and on instagram in order to check out the official page to be sure that we all are talking about the same scholarship it's an amazing scholarship in my opinion so y'all go check it out i'm going to see y'all tomorrow bye everybody